As the titular character of the drama series The Good Doctor, Dr. Sean Murphy has faced great adversity and made great triumphs. These are the highest of the highs and the lowest of the lows for Sean and those closest to him. More than a year ahead of the COVID-19 pandemic, The Good Doctor forced its doctors to deal with a quick-spreading pathogen in the Season 2 fall finale episode, Quarantine. The installment found St. Bonaventure's ER on lockdown as a virus laid siege to the hospital. The drama takes place as things are already ramping up amid holiday madness, and the pressure is already heightened for Sean, who finds the sensory assault of Christmas lights and holiday chaos chipping away at his composure. To make matters worse, hospital visitors begin freaking out, emergency surgery are needed, Park's son has a severe asthma attack, and some of the doctors are among those taking ill. Amid all of the frenzy, Sean begins to hyper-focus on a buzzing overhead light that continues to break his concentration, a sign that he is beginning to experience sensory overload. The light is buzzing. I don't hear anything. It's loud and very distracting. It needs to be fixed. Things reach a fever pitch when Lim collapses while walking Morgan through surgery as Park screams for someone to help his son. Sean finally hits his breaking point, covering his ears and curling up in a fetal position right in the middle of the emergency room walkway as alarmed staff and patients look on. Although it's a scary moment for Sean and the nursing staff, Morgan's quick thinking saves the day when she realizes that getting him to focus on the surgery is just the thing to help him calm down. As a neurologically atypical individual, Sean sometimes struggles to communicate information with the same ease as his neurotypical colleagues. That's all right, however, because Sean's other workplace gifts far exceed the communication challenges he encounters from time to time. When Dr. Lim assigns Sean his first surgery in first case, second base, Sean feels confident even though his number one detractor, Dr. Andrews, has doubts about whether Murphy is up to the challenge. Although the surgery starts auspiciously, Sean suddenly walks out of the operating room halfway through the surgery. Can't, can't do this. What, what can you do? No. Don't. No. 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 Sean then proceeds to pace the hallway while struggling to articulate what he's thinking as a baffled Park, Andrews, and Lim look on. Just as Andrews and Lim are concluding Sean is suffering a meltdown that demonstrates how unfit he is for the job, a light bulb goes off over Park's head as he realizes Sean is trying to tell them something. After calming down, Sean explains that the patient, who would have been left with a feeding tube as a result of the planned surgery, could receive a more advanced operation, but it would mean Sean has to forfeit his case. The moment demonstrates how capable Sean is of synergy with his colleagues, his ability to overcome his own challenges, and his willingness to put patients first. From the moment Leah knocked on Sean's apartment door, it was clear they had chemistry. Still, the path to true love isn't always easy, and both Sean and Leah had a lot of growing up to do before they were ready to start a relationship. Things between the pair get rocky after Carly breaks things off with Sean, encouraging him to tell Leah how he feels about her. In the Season 3 episode Autopsy, Sean follows Carly's advice and confesses his feelings for Leah. She is quick to reciprocate them, but tearfully says they can't be together, remaining silent when he asks if it's because of his autism. Sean spends the next few episodes in a dark hole and lashes out at everyone around him in anger. Eventually, he decides to vandalize Leah's car in the hope that it will make him feel better. However, he can't bring himself to do it and instead delivers a brutal takedown, telling Leah she doesn't respect him, no one likes her, and she deserves to end up alone. You acted like you cared about me, but you don't even respect me. The interaction is distressing and cruel, even if Leah badly needs a wake-up call to confront her ableism and selfishness. One of the things that made the early difficulties between Sean and Leah so painful is that Leah wasn't just rejecting him outright. She really does love him, but genuinely worries that a relationship between two high-maintenance people would be far too difficult. However, as she takes time to think things over, her feelings for Sean only continue to grow, and she is finally forced to face them when she fears she might lose him for good. The revelation comes in Season 3's penultimate episode, Hurt, which puts Sean on the rescue team in the aftermath of an earthquake that leaves some of St. Bonaventure's people, including Leah, trapped in a brewery. Sean sets out to rescue her, but ends up helping a woman named Vera instead. While trapped and awaiting rescue, Sean pours his heart out to Vera without realizing that Leah can hear him from a walkie-talkie. Before he can bring her to safety, an aftershock traps them both, flooding the sub-basement as a horrified Leah listens in over the radio. As Leah fears for his safety, Sean pours out his heart to Vera. Leah makes me more. After Sean's confession, an aftershock then hits, flooding the basement and Sean and Vera are trapped in. With their lives at stake, Vera convinces Sean to move on from Leah if they make it out alive. 
When he finally emerges from the building, a waiting Leah greets him with a kiss, telling him that he makes her feel the same way, having finally realized how much better their lives are together. It's established early in The Good Doctor that Sean's parents failed him badly. Sean's alcoholic father was horribly abusive to Sean and his brother Steve. He berated Sean for his autism. Eventually, he drove Sean and his brother Steve to run away from home, which leads to Steve's accidental death. With such a tragic backstory, it's little wonder Sean is hesitant to go see his estranged father when he learns he has a terminal illness. Although his father, Ethan Murphy, initially apologizes to Sean, he does so by playing the victim, blaming his actions on his inability to help his autistic son in friends and family. His words are triggering, causing Sean to unleash his anger, telling his father he's a bad person. You killed my rabbit. You killed my rabbit. And you killed my brother. After sleeping on his anger, Sean returns to forgive his father, but Ethan responds with more abuse, telling Sean that he is weak and it's his fault his brother died. It's a dark moment in Sean's life that reminds Sean the Murphys were never his family, except by blood. Sean first meets Dr. Glassman after he and Steve run away in search of a doctor for Sean's rabbit. While Glassman can't save their pet, he gives them his phone number in case they need anything, which leads to Sean to call him after Steve's accident. Although Sean is eventually placed in foster care, he remains in touch with Glassman, who serves as a surrogate father and helps him get hired at St. Bonaventure after medical school. Through the ensuing years, their relationship faces various trials and strains, but they remain close despite everything. On Sean's wedding day, Glassman gives Sean two rings passed down through his family that he had intended to give to his late daughter. As Glassman attempts to tie Sean's bow tie for him, Sean shares a touching sentiment that highlights the importance each man has in the other's life, even calling Glassman his father. I love you, Dr. Glassman. Although Sean faces many challenges building relationships at St. Bonaventure, he forms a strong workplace friendship with Audrey Lim. However, their relationship sours after Sean's split-second surgical decision leaves Lim partially paralyzed. The trouble arises when Dr. Lim and another doctor are attacked during Sean's wedding at the end of season 5, forcing Sean and Glassman to perform emergency surgery with the hospital still under lockdown in the season 6 opener After Party. While operating on Lim, Sean goes against Glassman's order, performing a slightly riskier procedure that saves her but causes her paralysis. As she struggles to accept her new reality, Lim targets her anger on Sean, believing his recklessness cost her the ability to walk, a position that's unfortunately reinforced by Glassman's own feelings about Sean's decision. When Sean doesn't seem to understand how resentful Lim is, she brutally spells it out for him, telling Dr. Murphy that she no longer wants to be friends in A Big Sign. But that's all. I don't want you to ask me about my personal life, and I don't want to hear about yours. Fortunately for all involved, Sean is nothing if not persistent, and he continues to work on ways to get her mobility back despite Lim's anger. While Lim continues to harbor resentment toward Sean, she eventually begins to embrace her new way of living with help from Danny, who underwent a leg amputation years prior. Despite the strain on their relationship, Sean's commitment to repairing Lim's nerve damage pays off when he finds a way to get her walking again. However, Sean has to make things right with Lim first. In the episode Sorry Not Sorry, he tells her he does not owe her an apology, as he did save her life but admits he is sorry the decision caused her harm. He further opens up, telling Lim he misses their personal relationship. I have missed your friendship. I have missed you. Lim reveals she's working through her anger, but she's finally in a good place and misses Sean's friendship too. It's good to see Lim and Sean make up, but more importantly, the moment shows Sean's growth as a surgeon. Sean's revelation that he isn't remorseful or guilty while still expressing empathy for Lim shows his humanity without compromising his confidence in his ability to make the hard calls he'll need to keep making going forward. Sean and his colleagues find themselves in the tug-of-war between quality care and financial constraints when the St. Bonaventure is bought by the overbearing Salen. While she saves the hospital from financial ruin, Salen shifts everything to a heavily profit-driven system and begins weighing money over human lives. At first, Sean weathers the changes surprisingly well. While he tends to resist change, he can understand the logic behind many of Salen's decisions. However, when Salen's corner cutting with expired medications costs a baby her life, Sean's rage boils over in the episode Expired. Triggered by the recent loss of his own infant, he makes his way to the hospital pharmacy, where he smashes bottles of expired medications and lashes out at everyone around. Feeling he can't trust anyone, blaming Glassman for the baby's death and telling Leah that he can't marry her. You lied to me! I can't trust you! 
and I can't marry you." While it's a dark moment that leaves a serious rift in Sean's relationship with Leah, the meltdown marks a turning point that leads to the staff's active rebellion against Salen. One of the more heartbreaking storylines in The Good Doctor is Sean and Leah's painful journey to parenthood. As Leah's pregnancy progresses, they learn they're having a baby girl and get excited about their new family member. However, their happiness falls apart when Leah experiences a brutal late pregnancy loss in Dr. Ted. Over time, the couple begins to move on past their grief, eventually getting married and looking forward to starting a family once they get the medical okay. However, Sean and Leah are met with even more bad news when they learn Leah has Asherman's syndrome, a condition that will likely affect Leah's fertility and ability to carry the baby to term in Boys Don't Cry. Although they want to be parents, the pair is understandably terrified when Leah gets pregnant again in Broken or Not, and their fears are confirmed when they learn her uterus is thinning and has a high probability of rupturing. Sean devises a surgical plan to increase their odds, but while recovering in the hospital, Leah experiences a bleed from her scar tissue. In Quiet and Loud, Glassman tells Sean that Leah and the baby will survive only because they were already in the hospital for Sean's procedure. Among the many difficult figures Sean encounters while working at St. Bonaventure, few are more divisive than Dr. Jackson Hahn, played by Daniel Day Kim, whose arrogance as a surgeon is unrivaled among the staff. After Marcus Andrews ascends to hospital president, his position is filled by Dr. Hahn, who finds Sean's interactions with other staffers and patients inappropriate for a position in surgery. After Sean upsets a mother with an inconvenient truth about her infant, Han confronts him only to be dumbfounded at Sean's lack of social awareness about his own interaction with the young resident in Risk and Reward. Despite Sean's colleagues' insistence that he is working on social cues, Han feels Murphy isn't fit for the role of surgeon. After telling Sean he is a remarkable diagnostician, Han moves him into the pathology department, believing it's a better fit for Sean's social skills. For Sean, who has dreamed of becoming a surgeon since his youth, the move is a bitter pill to swallow. In Breakdown, Sean is brought in to consult on a later surgery at Melendez's request. He confronts Han about getting his job back, but ends up having a meltdown, and that gets him fired. I am a surgeon! I am a surgeon! Han's handling of the Sean situation widens the rift between himself and Andrews, who ends up firing Han and getting Sean his old job back in Trampoline. With all Sean and Leah go through together, it's nice to see them finally get their happy ending. However, because it's the good doctor, even their wedding turns out to be a tricky affair. After struggling to heal from their tragic pregnancy loss, the episode Vamos sees Sean and Leah get engaged while on a medical mission in Guatemala. By the time of their engagement party, everyone is looking forward to the upcoming nuptials, but the stress of wedding planning already has Leah struggling in new beginnings. If that wasn't enough pressure, they agree to be part of a streaming reality series culminating in an on-screen wedding. However, when the big day comes, they hate everything about it and decide to cancel their wedding moments before showtime. Just when it starts to seem like they'll never tie the knot, Sean and Leah decide to get hitched in a courthouse wedding. Before they can, Dr. Glassman and Jordan throw together a surprise rooftop wedding with all of their friends present. It's a perfect moment for an unconventional couple, even if their fairy tale ending is cut short when the hospital goes on lockdown.